let me tell you what's bananas. <laughs> I did a session about two years ago, and it was like uh, before school starts, a little pep rally thing to get the teachers all fired up so they could go back in the classroom and start really sharing that knowledge and information. And, and, and at one point at the end of the program, I did a question and answer period. And this one teacher wanted to know, how do I respond to one particular thing? And I said, yes, ma'am, what's that? And she said that the year before that, and she taught fifth grade, the year before that, she had an assignment for the kids where they were supposed to write what they wanted to do when they grew up. And she said a lot of the kids said they wanted to be firemen, some wanted to be policemen, some wanted to be singers, some wanted to play pro football, some pro basketball, the standard kind of stuff you hear. But she said what blew her away is that there was one young man who he wrote his paper, and you know what he said? He said he wanted to be a drug dealer when he grew up. And when she questioned him about it, he then started giving her all the rationale and reasons for why he wanted to be a drug dealer. You know what he said? He said it's easy and you get paid every day. And, and what amazes me, it's not amazing to me just that he thought that, because maybe someone in his family is a dealer. Maybe he lives in a neighborhood where there are a lot of dealers around. What really got me though, is that he felt perfectly comfortable saying that to a teacher. He felt perfectly comfortable writing that down in a classroom assignment, that he wanted to be a drug dealer. And I guess it says to me, be careful what you watch on TV. Stop thinking that this is all so easy. Stop thinking that, you know, it's easy and you get paid every day. When 85% of the people we lock up in this country is drug and alcohol related, and you'd be amazed how many people we have locked up who go in and out and in and out and back and forth to jail because of drug dealing. This isn't a game. And whether that drug dealing is selling crack on the corner, whether that drug dealing is, you know, you making a run for all your friends and you go down and buy some weed and come back to the party you guys are having after the football game and you distribute the weed to everybody else. Well, technically, you're a drug dealer. And if you are busted, you can be charged as a drug dealer. You can be charged with distribution because that's what you're doing. You're the wholesaler. You're, excuse me, you're the distributor. You get it from the wholesaler. You bring it back. You retail it. That's dealing. Okay? Duh. And I'm amazed at how many kids ruin their lives by getting busted one time. I, I know kids who are playing Division I college football, and I've worked with some of their schools, who ended up losing their scholarship and going to jail because they started distributing drugs while they were on campus. Come on, folks. Don't you get it? There ought to be more you aspire to than being a drug dealer. There ought to be more you aspire to than being boys with a drug dealer. There ought to be more you aspire to. So what do you aspire to? What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Think about that a little bit. Life, life, lessons, lessons. We live, we live, we learn, we learn. So pay, so pay attention. attention.